The first thing to do when uploading contacts in the SharpSpring is to create your CSV file of the contacts that you want to add. Um, so I've just quickly added a couple of emails in here um, because there's two necessary fields. One is email and one is is unsubscribe, which sets their status of whether they're actually um, a subscribed member of your database or they have unsubscribed. In this case, in row two, we've got a zero. Now a zero means they are subscribed and a one means they are unsubscribed. So when we upload this data, nil.marketingi.com will be subscribed and nil.dire.marketingi.com will be unsubscribed. Now you can add other um, columns to your CSV, um, but these two are the only two that are required. If you don't have these two, you, you won't be able to upload your file. So if we save that file, and it must be saved as a CSV, make sure you've done that, otherwise you won't be able to upload it. And then I'm already there, but to get to the import section of SharpSpring, you go to contacts and then import. And you'll get a list of instructions there. We've covered those. It says your required fields, which is email address and the unsubscribe. Um, and then here you can upload your file. Um, make sure you choose the delimiter that is correct for your CSV file. It's commonly comma. Um, so, and it's already set to that by default. So we've added our CSV and now we can go to upload CSV file. That will take us here. Here we will be able to map our fields in our CSV to our SharpSpring fields. Um, now we can either add these contacts to an existing list. So we can choose from lists that are already in SharpSpring or in this case, we're just gonna do a new list. Um, which we'll just call example data. Now these might be contacts that are already in your database that you're updating. Um, and SharpSpring gives you three options. So if there are duplicate duplicates, it will not update any existing field information or any field information um, in your CSV file. It will literally just upload the contacts as they already exist um, in SharpSpring. You've got upload new field information only, so that will add information that doesn't already exist to contacts in SharpSpring, so any blank fields. And then update new and existing field information. So it will take what's in your CSV file and replace anything in those columns or fields in SharpSpring, even if data already exists. In this instance, we're just adding these contacts fresh, so we're just going to put do not update field information um, for duplicates. You can change the status of contacts at this stage. Um, so if you know that they are customers, then you can upload them as customers. Um, in this instance, I'm just going to add them as open leads. You can assign leads to a campaign if they are from a roadshow or a particular uh, marketing activity. Um, and you can assign leads to a user if it's um, for a specific member of your team um, that these contacts relate to, then you can choose them at this stage. At this, For this example, I don't need to do that. Now, usually what will happen is SharpSpring um, will automatically map the fields um, to the column headings in your CSV. Now, if you label them exactly the same as I've done in the CSV, it knows which ones to label, um, assign them to. So email is email, and that's correct, and is unsubscribed is unsubscribed. Now, if that doesn't there, if that's not already there, you can click into the box and then select email. So we're all good, we're just gonna click import and they will ask us to confirm that what we've got is correct and it gives us an example of our first uh, row in our CSV um, 
which we know to be correct. Because the platform is GDPR compliant, it asks you to confirm the unsubscribed contacts are mapped correctly and that the list is not purchased. We know that to be the case. Let me import those contacts and we'll wait for it to update because what should happen is this line here should disappear from members and go into exclusions because we've added it um, as an unsubscribed field. But as you'll notice, it isn't. And why is that? Because nil.dire at the market UI already exists in the database. And when the drop down, when I added the contacts, I said, do not update um, any existing field information. So it hasn't updated that is unsubscribed field. So what you need to make sure you do is that you tell SharpSpring that you are, if the data already exists and the contact now is unsubscribed because he might have emailed you to say that they're unsubscribed, then you must change the settings. So let's do this again and then you'll see that nil.dial will disappear from this list. So contacts and import. We'll choose our file again. That list now exists, so we can just choose the same one. Now here is what we need to change. So we need to update new and existing field information. Is unsubscribed already exists as a field under nil.dire at the marketing eye.com. So in order for us to make sure that he becomes unsubscribed, we need to make sure that SharpSpring is updating that new field information. So if we import again, we need to confirm again. Now you'll see that only Neil at the marketingeye.com is a member of the list and in exclusions, Neil.dire is now unsubscribed.